What's going on YouTube? Geosnorite here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you using the Checkrain jailbreak. A massive update has been released yesterday and I've been testing this update for a couple of hours now and it definitely is bulletproof. Now it's not me the one who says it's a massive update, it's Jamie Bishop who is actually part of the jailbreak team who posted quote massive Checkrain update out which fixes tons of bugs, adds support for the latest iOS and two more devices. Go get it on the official website which is of course checkray.im. You can see that the new version available is actually 0.9.6 beta which is currently available for macOS. This update is actually quite massive and the changelog is actually quite massive so it definitely deserves its own video. It says in here quote fixes support for the iPad 6th generation, fixes an issue where the A7 device would report an error code on success, fixes an issue where the jailbreak application icon would show up on the boot after using the loader's restore system functionality, makes the loader application more resilient to errors occurring after a long uptime, fixes an issue where Loader and Syria would fail with no internet connection message on Chinese iPhones, fixes an issue where the iPad Pro smart keyboard would disconnect, fixes an issue where the fast charging does not work, and then of course we have other changes in here which says quote, add support for jailbreaking Apple TV from within the same application, add support for the iPad 5th generation, iPad Air 2nd generation, and iPad Pro 1st generation. So these are devices that were previously not supported and now they are all supported, which means that you can finally jailbreak your iPad 5th, your iPad Air 2nd generation or your iPad Pro 1st generation on the latest version which is currently 13.2.3 which by the way this version adds support for. It says in here quote added support for 13.2.3. Now if you go ahead in here on the IPSW.me you can see that the iOS 13.2.3 is currently the only signed version available released on the 18th of November. So this is actually the latest version available and the only one signed but is currently jailbroken with the check rein. Then it says in here re-engineered the command line interface from the ground up, drastically improved loader speed, restructured loader D and friends into separate launch daemons, the survive user land reboot and remove insult from daemons name. Now I'm not sure what that is about but anyways it says in here export kernel base and other useful things for developer cgbctl for details if you're experiencing the minus 20 error please re jailbreak with no substrate mode option check in the app and see if removing tweaks resolves your issue so currently the only devices that have experimental support are the iphone 5s the ipad mini 2 mini 3 and the ipad air and of course there is no windows and linux version for the moment however this update is actually quite massive and it does fix a lot of things and of course it adds support for three more devices which is actually quite good. Now for those of you who have a Mac or a VM running Mac OS all you have to do is to download the latest version available, press the DMG file in there and it will mount, you can press skip in here if you want to and of course it will attach on your desktop and as you can see the application is now available in here. You can drag it and drop it into the applications folder and that's pretty much it. And if you want a jailbreak all you have to do is to open the application in here, connect your iPhone in DFU mode and you have instructions in here and this is the application and you will be able to update your jailbreak by just pressing the start in there. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. This jailbreak supports the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10 on iOS 12.3 all the way up to the iOS 13.2.3 which is currently the latest version available and of course it supports all the iOS 13 firmware in here including 13.2.2, 13.2, 13.1.3 and so on. Now something you should keep in mind is that the A12 and A13 devices for example the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR are not supported and neither are the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro and these devices will never be supported by the check rein because the exploit check rein is based on is definitely not compatible with these devices. And also an important thing is that this jailbreak is actually semi-tethered which means that you're going to have to revisit this application every time you reboot your phone if you want to be jailbroken. So yeah that's pretty much it guys if you want any jailbreak help go ahead here on the forum I am available to answer your questions on jailbreak.fc365.info which is currently our jailbreak forum or in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching I am Geosnow and until next time peace out.